Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review, and we're going back home. We're going back to my, oh, where I come from. Well, the area where I come from. We're going to Lewis down in Sussex, and we're going to the rather excellent Beak Brewery. Now, I've had a couple of beers on this channel from this lot, and I've enjoyed them both. Looking forward to this one. Um, and the thing I like about Beak is the artwork on their cans. Very different, very original, nice, simple, but I love them. I love the artwork. So this is a can of their AND IPA, 6.4%, 6.5% should I say, um, ABV. It says, hi, this hazy IPA is a celebration of all things Kashmir. We're getting strawberry, um, what's that, strawberry smoothies, Thick, uh, sticky buds and dewy spring mornings in uh, God, I can't be <laughs> until you're getting old. Uh, excuse me while well, I get my glasses. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, uh, it's it's basically um, a cashmere IPA. It says flavors are reminiscent of grapefruit, honey, melon, and oil painted. Uh, primary coloured brush strokes sort of I've got there in the end it's, I can't read the writing because I'm old <laughs> I'm old on 50 this year I'm 50 this year and for me I'm old so <laughs> so I'm going to crack it open and what I do is I just whack it straight in the glass Back at Strain of Glass, this beer was acquired from the Bear and Bottle in Coxo for all your beery needs. If you're in Coxo, go to the Bear and Bottle. So, let's pour it out. There we go. Slightly hazy. Cashmere's a new, really a new hop to me, really. I didn't really discover Cashmere until I had a Duvel Cashmere about a couple of years ago in Benidorm. And I thought, wow, that's a cracking new hop, that is. So, beer in a glass, look at that hazy. Not full hazy, you can still, not full on hazy, I should I say, or full on chicken stock, Oxo chicken stock. It's, it's, you can see slightly through it. And there's a cloud of yeast as well. A fluffy head to this beer. And we've got, Hints of coconut, hints of grapefruit, hints, hints of melon. Coconut is the boss of the show. For me, coconut is the cashmere. For sure. Slight sweetness there to it. It smells fresh. It smells lovely. And I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everybody. What a lovely beer. What a lovely beer. I'm going again. The coconut springs alive on the front end with the grapefruit. It's not too bitter. You know, you pick up grapefruit, but it's not really bitter. Then the mouthfeel rolls in and it is very, very soft. Um, and it carries that flavour through towards the back end where you get a hint of melon and lemon for me. But it's lovely. It is. It's a lovely all-round beer. It's, it's cracking. It's cracking. Cracking stuff. I'm going again. Doesn't feel 6.5 at all. But it's just got a lovely, lovely character to it. That, ca that cashmere is absolutely beautiful. And that beautiful mouthfeel. So soft. So soft. But, you know, it, it, just, it just adds everything. Everything is adding together. You know, not too bitter. Slightly juicy. 
the coconut on the front end, the melon and the hint of lemon on the back end. It is all adding up to being a nice all rounder. It really is. It's cracking. This is my favourite big beer so far. Um, like I say, third one in. Previous two were good. Very good. This is excellent. Absolutely. It's cracking. Lovely, lovely beer. Lovely beer. And it's just a shame I only bought one can. That's I'm looking at a hint of sadness, boys and girls, because I should have bought more looking at this. Um because it's lovely. It is it's it's everything about it. There's no there's nothing about this beer I can criticize. There's nothing. There's nothing there to say, you know, oh well, it should have been this or we should have been that or whatever. That is a perfect, perfect beer for me. It really is. I'm going again. I've got to enjoy that one. That is beautiful. Boys and girls, I can't recommend this beer enough. It's cracking. Absolutely. Big Brewery from down my way in Sussex. Um, the southern part of me. <laughs> and IPA. Highly, highly recommend. That is a lovely, lovely beer. Absolutely. What a little belter. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe. Murder them in the comments. Look after yourselves and see you all again on another beer review. Bim, bim.